How will Jupiter and Capricorn speak to you and your sign? Find out at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is going to be in the middle of the month, right around the 12th, that we will have this month's full moon. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your home. So in terms of where you live, uh, how you feel about it, how you decorate it, buying, selling, moving, new roommate, and it also connects to your family of origin, your parents in particular, and your grandparents for that matter. It speaks to your understanding of your past as well. Now, what we are going to have is Neptune speaking with this full moon in a connection of tension. And this indicates some lack of certainty. It can indicate confusion or not having key details that might actually be important. I would say with energy like this, if it is that you are looking to buy, sell, or move, or to attract a new roommate in your life, it would be a good idea for you to maybe give it a few days, either before or after. I would actually say beforehand um, because with energy around the full moon like this and especially where it comes to signing documents at this time as a general principle it would be a good idea uh, not to do that if you have some choice because i know sometimes life is what it is and you just have to show up for it but if you have a choice there may be some key details there that you are overlooking that could end up being uh, truly important where it comes to making changes to your home environment at the same time though if it is that you are looking for a new roommate i would you know give that uh, a little bit of time wait until we get later into the month wait until much earlier in the month it is in these time frames that you're much more likely to attract somebody where it's a kind of a what you see is what you get kind of situation which is ideally what you want if you're going to be living with somebody and where it comes to what is happening in terms of your view of the past or with your family members as well again all may not be as it seems on the surface which just means that if it feels as if you're getting um insight or someone's telling you what's been going on or you're uh, getting some sort of analysis it is a good idea not to take things at face value under the light of this full moon so for example i know when your parents start getting older maybe there's some concerns there on a health level if you're getting any kind of advice in the middle of the month i would space it out i would wait uh, ask a friend for a recommendation, especially in the early part of the month or later part of the month, because it is very wise with energy like this to get a second opinion, which could end up being very different than the first. But for all that, this is a chance for you to understand what it means to have roots in your life and where it is that who you are can be more rooted. But the big news this month, without a doubt, is of course Jupiter changing signs. Right around the second of the month is when Jupiter will move into a brand new part of the sky. You remember how a moment ago I talked about friends and asking your friends? That's because it is gonna be Jupiter that moves into a friendship-oriented part of your sky. It has to do with group endeavors as well. Now, of course, I will speak all about this in the Jupiter special horoscope. So there'll be something on YouTube, there'll be uh, stuff on my website and in the Superstar space as well. So you can have a look at that. And of course, I'll be talking about it every step of the way as we go along. But keep in mind that it is in the early days of the month that we will be slowly building towards a truly beautiful alignment between Jupiter and Uranus. The days to capitalize on that energy that technically peaks in the middle of the month, but we're gonna be under the energy of the full moon. The time to capitalize on it is December 8, 9, and 10. Wherever it is that you're hoping to reach out to people, connect with other people, join other people professionally or personally or otherwise, it would be a good idea to start to put those things into place in these uh, earlier days, about a week into the month. But it is truly as we get to Christmas Day that really big things start to happen. And what is that big thing? A solar eclipse. Now, normally, it is said that the sun meeting Jupiter in the sky is the luckiest day of the year. 
but this is a solar eclipse, a sun being eclipsed, meeting Jupiter in the sky, and it just magnifies this energy that much more. It brings electricity and excitement and surprise element that much more as well. Things could go exceptionally well under the light of this beautiful eclipse happening right around Christmas Day. We will be ending the year while in eclipse season as well that will carry into a brand new decade. Given that this is taking place in a social and friendship part of the sky, if you get any offer to enjoy uh, yourself in the company of others, any offers uh, to join social events, absolutely, I would say if there ever was a time to participate, it really would be this. If it is that you get invited to be part of some group endeavor to get together with other people, whether professionally or like-minded people for volunteer things, it would be a good idea to take those offers very seriously right about now. Sometimes they may come with money. This can be really big opportunities. Sometimes though, it isn't about the money, uh, but it is in the fullness of time that you will realize how this endeavor actually ends up creating prosperity for you or blessing your life or bringing in even bigger opportunities into your life as well. There's something positively karmic that happens during eclipse season and with this energy, what is happening now is about aligning you with even better than anything you could have imagined for yourself. That alignment is gonna take place through people, so make sure that you are staying connected to others in some way, really in any way, and wherever it is that you're connecting with new people right around this time of the eclipse, well, you've got that much more cosmic support for feeling as if these are connections that have karmic blessings to them. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we are going to have for the first three weeks, Venus continuing to move through this very social part of your sky before changing signs and moving into the sign just before yours. So at least for the first three weeks, we do have energy that says friendships become more, friends become lovers and, and all of that. But once we have Venus moving into the sign just before yours, it becomes that love becomes a lot more quieter, at least for a few weeks and as we enter the new year. If you're open to meeting someone new, even Jupiter, your ancient ruling planet, being in such a social part of the sky, Venus being there as we start the month anyways, it does suggest that friends are where love is and a friend could become more. However, once we navigate to the later days of the month, if you do end up connecting with someone new at that time, there may be some factors there that aren't necessarily obvious. Um, some factors that complicate the, the new connection, if you will, which means that you may not necessarily feel ready to announce to the world this new person that you've met. For those of you who are just getting to know somebody, so if you just started to date someone, uh, it is going to be in the first part of the month that there's a sincere desire to do more social things with this person. However, here's the thing, Venus, around the middle of the month, Venus will be meeting Saturn and then we'll be meeting Pluto in the sky. These are very intense alignments and it does suggest reality checks that happen for you with this person in the company of others. For some, what you see will solidify things very quickly. You'll feel that much more dedicated to them. But for others, what it is that you see is going to be something that makes you take a step back and say, okay, maybe this isn't the pathway that I am meant to go. If you do end up moving forward with this person, know that once we get to the later days of the month, there might be some other situations, external factors or otherwise, that mean you can't quite be together as much, but that energy will pass once we move into the new year. And for those of you who are in an established bond, yes, we have the social energy in the early parts of the month, but just keep in mind on either side of the full moon, we are going to have that Venus connecting with Saturn, Venus connecting with Pluto, which does say, as you are in the company of others uh, with your partner, it can feel as if uh, moments arise that provoke strong feelings that the two of you may have to talk out, it does happen. But conversely, this can also be seeing things in your partner that make you feel truly dedicated to them 
in the process. Once we get to Venus changing signs, there's going to be a desire to close the door, to nurture the sacred space that the two of you share. What I love about this month for you, well, it's got to be Jupiter, your ancient ruling planet, not only changing signs, but also I just love that beautiful eclipse. I know that eclipses can be a wild card and sometimes they can be really wild as is the case with this eclipse, but it is happening with the luckiest day of the year. I mean, really, this is such a beautiful energy, such a blessed energy. It suggests to me that you are truly feeling that you have the love, that you have the support, that you're connecting with new people. And, you know, they say that people and sharing our journey makes our life richer. And for you, this is one of those times that feels like absolute wealth. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.